All right, we got everything. Oh, no we don't. Missing uh, romaine lettuce. Oh, good job. You just washing the leaves off, right? And then we're gonna put the whole leaf inside the hot pot. Yeah, that's how we do hot pot. Uh, we do the romaine lettuce, but um, we don't need to cook, we don't need to cut it like uh, when you guys do the salad or something like right. that. Yeah. We just cook the whole leaf. Yeah, you know, it's a little deceiving. Uh, and I, I kind of found it, I thought it was weird at first when I saw my wife putting vegetables when she's like stir frying or, or making hot pot or whatever. It looks huge. It looks like way too much vegetable. But as soon as you put it in the hot pot or in a soup, it shrinks big time. And uh, it's not, not as big as you think it is. And now I don't know that we'll eat all of this. You know, may, maybe half of it. But uh, you'll be surprised how much how small it gets as soon as you cook it. Which is great because that means you'll, you'll eat more vegetables. And, you know, green leafy vegetable. There you go. That's what you're supposed to eat. Yeah. And that's good carbs. Yeah. That's true. Good you know, for your body. In a salad, because the, the vegetables are uncooked, so they look so big. But actually, when you really eat that, you will realize right. you are not really eating a lot. Well, yeah, that's why when you eat a salad, you don't feel like you, you ate enough. So this is our little cooker we use for a uh, hot pot. Um, they also carry these in, in the Asian supermarkets. And uh, our friend actually has a, a convection one um, that you know, doesn't have a flame. This is uh, it's a little propane tank that goes in here, right? You can buy little packages of four or six propane tanks at a time. Um, I think we want to get the, the convection one though. It seems a little bit safer. You can't, you can't burn yourself with it. So this one, you know, you, you turn it on. Instant fire, right? <clears throat> so, anyway, I'll show you the pot here. Right in here, let me turn the light on. Here is the pot that we usually use. Uh, you can see it's got this divider in the middle. So you can have a spicy side and an unspicy side. Um, but since me and my wife, or my wife and I, uh, also, we both like the spicy sauce, so we're just going to use a, a normal pot. But uh, this is pretty cool, you know, if you have a group of friends over, you can have some unspicy side too. Alright, start boiling some water here. I think you guys know how to boil water. Uh, this is uh, one of the many hot pot sauce packages that you can find. Um, it's the first time I've seen her use this one actually. And I think it comes with several packages. Did you, are you just going to throw all of that in there? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think this is the spicy part. Yeah. Right. And this one too. This one, you see when I cut that open, a lot of red pepper will come out. Okay. Yeah. And we have some uh, other stuff that she usually uses. I think that's this. And this is just like a big square. Yeah, hot pot seasoning, see? It's like a big square and she just breaks off a chunk of it. And I have to say, uh, if you're going to have hot pot, I really suggest you get some hot pot sauce or hot hot pot spice, because um, you know otherwise it's just plain. Uh, even if you're going to have two separate sides, you should have one side that's got either a little sauce in it or some other flavor that's not not as spicy. You know, just like having a soup with the base, you want to have a good tasting base for your soup. What do you do? Just let that boil for a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. And then we can start eating. I think you throw a bunch of tofu in there too before we start, right? Yeah, I will do that. And the tofu you can kind of toss in and the rest we kind of eat as we go.